Hello everyone, it's Julie from Scrap for Your Life. And today I'm going to show you how to add some fun digital elements to a photo using Canva. So the first thing we want to do is just go to canva.com and you'll open it up and you'll be on the home screen. So I want you to hit create a design and we're going to create a custom size today, four by six template, which is a photo size for a standard photo. So put in a create new design and it'll open up a new template that is in portrait size and it's four by six. The next thing I'm going to do is upload a photo. And I've already uploaded my photo ready to go and I'm just going to click that. If you haven't uploaded the photo yet, all you need to do is go to the photo that you need from your uh, PC or phone, go to the directory and upload it. So I've uploaded the file. And I just want to add some fun digital elements to this photo. It's quite a boring photo. My husband's boarding a plane and there's not much colour. There's, there's nothing really in the photo to add much of an interest. I just snapped this photo as, as he was walking in front of me and I just thought it would be a good opportunity to grab one of those snaps of the, I guess, just the image of us walking onto the plane. So the first thing we're going to going to do is go to elements on the left hand side Now I want to search for an emoji because the first thing I'm going to do is add a fun little emoji to this photo. Now there are plenty of emojis to choose from and they're quite some of them are quite funny. Um, so let's just choose one. I think I'll just go with this first one which has got the big teeth and the thumbs up symbol. So it's quite a funny little emoji there and I've just pop populated it on the right hand side there. Now the next thing I want to do is add some text. So just hit the text icon on the left hand side of the screen and it'll open up a whole new subheading window with all sorts of preset text or you can just add a text box. So we're just going to add a text box today and I'm going to click that and it's opened up a text box on my image, on my, on my photo. I'm just going to write something like boarding, boarding the plane or time to board the plane. Something that um, makes a bit of sense. Time to board the plane. So I think that makes better sense. And I just want it on one line. So I'm just going to extend this out using the handles on the left hand or the right hand side. You can also change the font. Go up the top. Hit the drop down and it will bring up a whole range of different fonts that you can use. So I'm just going to scroll down and see if I want to find some other font to use. And I might just might just make comics call Comic Sans font. Adjust the size again. Now the next thing I want to do is add an arrow. So I'm going to go back to elements. And I'm going to type in the word arrow and I'm going to choose an arrow that I want to use. And I think I might just choose this one. Now to turn the arrow around you can see that it's, there's a two little circular arrows here under the image. I'm going to turn that slightly so it's sort of like facing a different direction. But I'm not happy still with the direction so I can actually flip the image. And I'm going to flip it horizontal, vertical. I might just leave it as uh, sort of pointing down, but I still need to turn it just a tad. Here we go. I might just move it over here a little bit. And I also want to change the colour. I'm going to make it red. Now we've got red in the palette already so we can keep it that red or we could actually hit colour palette up the top here and choose a different colour altogether. Now if you notice on the left hand side it's actually brought in the colours of the photo. You can see this photo is just basically a mix of greys and whites and a bit of black. So it's actually giving me the exact colours that those uh, that are in the photos with the hex codes as well. So that's really helpful to actually work out what, what sort of colours and also helps with matching papers and embellishments and things like that. Very helpful. 
So I might just leave it at that. I think that looks pretty much okay. Let's, might just move that text up a little bit. So just keep playing with the images until you're happy with this, the sizing. I think that looks about right. Now we really need and all we need to do now is download it. We're just going to hit the share on the top right hand side and then hit the download button. Now I'm going to download this as a JPEG. So I change it from PNG to JPEG and then I'm just going to hit download. And that's going to drop it into my downloads folder on my PC. Now I'm going to print the photo and I'm going to start using it in a scrapbook layout. And when I've finished, I will come back and I will show you the finished layout. So, so here is the finished layout. I printed the photo 6x4 paper and mounted the photo on white cardstock. I've got two photos on this layout and I've just used old papers from an old collection. So if it's a bit of a mix of a few collections actually, but you can see those digital elements there and the text just adds something a little bit more interesting to the photo. So I hope you like this little tutorial. Please hit the thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more little quick videos on how to spice up your scrapbooking layouts using Canva. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.